Here we are backstage at the Amsterdam dance event with one of the most talk about upcoming talents in the trans scene, Dimension from Spain. Hello Dimension. Hello, how are you? I'm very fine. Tell us a little bit about you. How did you start producing trans music and why you choose trans music? Uh, I think uh, I discovered trans music uh, listening to Gurriella tracks and uh, you know the feeling, the emotion um, is uh, really uh, it's all about passion. It's I think trans is inside me and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And uh, what kind of influences? I guess Ferry Corsten is one of your influences. What other influences do you have in your music? Uh, yeah, I think Ferry Corsten is my biggest influence, but also Paul uh, Van Dyke, Carmen Tiesto, uh, Marcus Schurz, you know, the, the biggest names in the trance, uh, Avogon Bellon, and uh, Melodic Trance in, uh, in, is the most I like. Uh, you have managed to develop your own sound that everybody recognizes it as being your very personal sound. Uh, how did you manage to do that? Uh, I always try to make the most beautiful melodies I can. And I don't know, it, I think it comes naturally. And um, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not uh, always trying to find my own song. Uh, I think it, it comes uh, organically. Uh, which tracks? from the ones that you have released so far, do you believe are the most important for your career? The ones that have changed your career? Of course, Origami, because uh, the hype around, uh, the feeling with Furry Corsten and Dance Therapy Management. But I, I have also special um, love for Vicus, because it was the track uh, I start the, the relation with dance therapy because Vicus and uh, Origami and Mangata, you know. Of course, you have released lately one very beautiful mixed compilation. Uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about the process of uh, collecting the tracks? You have many exclusives, uh, how did you make this compilation? Yeah, it, it was really nice because I really like um, to find new music and um, um, you know that people send you their own stuff. So uh, it was really nice because I, we, we found a lot of uh, new tracks and really good tracks but unfortunately we can't uh, choose all the tracks for the compilation. So um, we try to find the best tracks for make a compilation uh, will, uh, with a nice build up and going from uh, lower BPMs to higher BPMs and more um, hard track for uh, hard track for uh, the clubs. Of course, you have done very nice remixes to many other artists. Which remix that you have produced so far you believe is the one that you love more and why? Uh, my best remix, I think, is uh, for Ferry Corsten Pogo. And I think that's because it's my first remix for a big artist. And I, I, it, it was like a goal for me. Uh, I, I, I put my biggest effort for making it. So, and I really like the, the final result. Uh, you have releases on various record labels, from Cold Harbor to many, many others. Yeah. Now, Flashover is going to be your exclusive home, that you are going to release music there only. No, no, it's not my exclusive, but it's my main label. Uh, for example, all kind of origami tracks will, will be released under uh, Flashover. But it's really nice to join Flashover family because I'm not uh, exclusive. I, I, I'm still free to make uh, other different styles of music or sign on Cold Harbor again, uh, State of Trance or any other label I want. Uh, yeah, uh, on uh, Thursday night at uh, the Amsterdam dance event, Flashover and Luminosity have sold out a beautiful party at Panama. You have played there twice, a warm-up and another DJ set. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your experience. It was really nice because it was my first time in ADE, also my first time on Panama Club. 
and I really like all kind of uh, electronic music like the music for warm-ups with house and uh, slow BPMs so I had so much fun uh, play, doing the warm-up and uh, then on the club uh, set I did it was m even more fun because the club was uh, full of people and uh, it was really nice the, the feeling and the ambient was uh, awesome do you enjoy more DJing or do you enjoy more producing? What do you choose? I think they are completely different feelings. Uh, I really like more uh, to be in the studio, but you know, you are alone and you never have the same feeling when you are DJing on a club. So it's completely different. Uh, which other events stand out for you that you have played, except of course the Flashover and the Luminosity event? Uh, I always try to find the right, uh, the right uh, tracks for make a set with a nice progression uh, and I always try to play an Unabit tracks because they are really great for the club and also melodic stuff. Uh, thank you very much for this wonderful interview. Do you have any plans for an album? Can we ask about that? Can we announce something around it? Oh, uh, we thought about, about that, but uh, we think it's too uh, soon for that. But it's something I really would like to do in the future. So, for sure, I will do an album.